Hello everyone, this is the PMDG 737 Auto Land Tip 4. In this video, I'm gonna cover briefly and quickly the difference between the two modes of operation of the Auto Land. As you may know, we have uh, fail passive and fail operational. So, to improve your Auto Land experience, uh, you may need to be aware of these uh, two different types of uh, Auto Land uh, mode of operation. And before I get started, please show your support to this channel by subscribing, liking and sharing. From startup to shutdown is all about flying with simulators. First, you need to know to which mode of Autoland operation that your PMDG 737 currently is configured. There is different ways to do that, but I'm gonna show you the easiest way. You need to have a look at uh, the MFD push buttons uh, located above the upper display unit here. If you see this C slash R push button, this means that uh, you are configured with fill operational mode. Otherwise, you will see this uh, area is blank, which means that uh, you are configured with uh, fill passive mode of operation. Let's see first uh, how fail passive mode of operation works. First thing you need to remember when operating an Autoland with fail passive mode is that you need to use a decision height at which you need to have a visual contact with the touchdown zone to ensure that the autopilot is taking the aircraft properly and correctly to the touchdown zone. And we do that because the fail passive mode has not enough redundancy system that can conduct and complete blindly, so to speak, an Auroland. With fail passive mode, when the second autopilot engages, you will see on the auto flight director system status, CMD with flare armed only and no rollout feature available. So you assume the rollout control manually using your rudder pedals. That being said, you need to be prepared to disconnect the autopilot system at touchdown. Let's see now how fail operational mode works to see the difference. Unlike the fail passive mode, fail operational mode has more redundancy that allows us to conduct an auto land even without using any decision height. That means that fail operational mode is designed to perform an auto land even with no visibility. With fail operational mode, when the second autopilot engages, you will see on the auto flight director system status, land 3 with both flare and rollout armed, which means that the autopilot system will take care of both the flare and the rollout after touchdown. Unlike the fail passive mode, you don't need to disconnect the autopilot after touchdown. So we leave the autopilot on during the rollout and we can disconnect it just before exiting the runway. And that's all for the today's video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial.